Hey guys. So, I don't usually make this kind of video, as you know, because I'm not an expert on maths and science and things like that. But the thing is that I'm going... Uh, I'm doing an exam right now, and I'm working on my exams right now, and this is balancing equations, which I had trouble with, major, major trouble with it initially. But now I'm quite good at them, so... I wanted to share how it's done in case someone else is working on their exams and hopefully they'll find my video useful. Okay, so I've written it out twice because I always find it helpful to write it out twice so you can work on the bottom one. Where do I start? Yeah, there's SCL2 plus H3N equals S4N4 plus NH4Cl plus S, so that's the equation, and it's not balanced as you can see. Now, what it means to balance an equation is that you have to have the same number of atoms on the left side as you have on the right hand side, and in this one, it's not the same, and I will explain why. Now, let me choose a different color uh, before I write. Let me choose this color. Okay, we will do S Cl. H, oops, that doesn't look like it, H, N. So these are the only elements we've got in this equation, right? So let's say, and then we've got to do the same thing on that side, S, C, L, H, N. So these are the only elements that we have in this equation. Now, how many have we got on the left side? We've got... 1s there, oops, let me just do a different color, sorry. We've got 1s there, as you can see, and 1, oh, oops, sorry, that's the other side. So 1s there, put 1, because there's 1s, and there's two chlorines on the left side. There is three hydrogens on the left side, and there is one nitrogen on the left side. On the right side, there is... Five sulfurs. There's one there and there's one there, as you can see. There is one chlorine. There is how many? We have four of the hydrogens and there is how many nitrogens? Five nitrogens, it seems, isn't it? Yeah. It's five nitrogens. Yeah, that's it. That's correct. So now, as you can see, they're really not balanced and we need to balance them. So how do we get from one here to five here? How do we do that? How do we get from one to five? Well, we can multiply S by five. We could do that, but... I mean, that's not a good idea to do that because... It's an odd number, and odd numbers are difficult to work with. So let's undo that. We don't want to do that. Instead, we could do one thing. So we could put a 2 there instead. And if we put a 2 there, this will now become a 6. And a 6, well, let me draw the 6 properly. It will become a 6. And 6s are easier to work with than 5s. Now we can multiply this by 6 right here which means that we have to put a 6 in front of the CL2. Oh, my, my handwriting is a bit bad. I'm sorry, guys. So now we put 6 in front of the CL2. We've got 6 now. Now we've got a 2 there, right? 2 multiplies by 6. Therefore, we now also have 12 chlorines here. That's affected the chlorines now, because 6 times 2 is 12, and now we only have one chlorine on this side, on the right side, meaning we have to multiply by 12. And we can do that by putting 12 there in front of the NH4Cl. Now, that means that what does that mean? Yeah, that means we now have 
12 nit hang on how many nitrogens we've got 12 nitrogens here and we've also got four nitrogens here so that makes 16 nitrogens now on this side okay now that side we'll forget about that side for a minute so h there's four h's over here it, and originally but now 12 times 4 will become 48 48 and how do we get from 3 to 48 that would be times by 16 and it would be this would be times by 16 as well essentially we're putting a 16 there like so we put a 16 there and that's it that's it guys we've balanced the equation let me do something we have balanced the equation let we have balanced we have balanced the equation let me write it out for you properly shall I write it in green this time the final answer is 6 s cl2 plus h3 n equals s4 n4 plus n4 oopsie sorry about that n h4 cl plus oh sorry 12 12 i forgot the 12 i'm so sorry 12 n h4 cl plus s i forgot the 16 there's no space never mind but anyway that's it there you have the balanced equation that's the final answer guys and i hope this video helped because i'm not an expert myself i'm just learning just like you so i find it helpful to share these things